Hello everyone, welcome to The Fortress, I am Trent. I'm Julia. And we have just come from the Sydney premiere of Disney's live action remake of Aladdin. Aladdin. Prince Ali himself is back with the iconic Blue Genie. So, what did we think? It's a very hit and miss movie. Luckily for me, there are a lot more hits than misses. Yes. But the misses that were there are quite significant. And bleedingly obvious. Yes, very obvious. So we're going to break that down for you in depth, starting off with the cast. Overall, the casting in this movie was really well done. And I'm just going to start off with opening up with the elephant in the room and not Abu. Uh, it's actually the genie in the bottle Rubbing or genie in the lamp. <laughs> we're going to rub it out, I'm going to rub oh, it out. Later. <laughs> anyway, so Will Smith is genie. You have never been quite confident in this from the get-go. No, I have not. I'm not a Will Smith fan. Yeah. I'll admit that openly. All righty. As a non-Will Smith fan, did he pass? I loved him. I think he did a great job. He was really... He owned the role. He looked like he was having a lot of fun. He did not try to imitate Robin Williams. Mm. He tried to make the role his own... I was actually surprised just how little he tried to steal the scenes. In yes. a lot of in a lot of Will Smith movies, he tends to have the he tends to try and deliver dialogue and lines that really cut into someone else's scene. He did the role of genie great justice, I found, uh, and just the way he delivered lines, they were clever, witty, with that typical Will Smith charm. So if you are a fan of Will Smith, you mm. will definitely like it. And if you're not, I think he's done a great job at just owning that role for himself because they are huge shoes to fill i don't think he he knew he could never fill those mm. and especially robin williams stole the scenes always in every scene in the original aladdin you focus on genie you don't focus on anything else that's happening because he's just being so amazing and so flicking through will smith allowed for the other actors to rise i think yes. a lot yeah but whilst we are talking about genie i did not like the blue genie the CGI in this movie was one of the big misses and yeah. one of the big issues. Um, he did not suit the CGI body that Will Smith's head was imposed on. That was the biggest genie yeah. issue for me. When he's in his human form, Perfect. very charming, very charismatic, great costuming, which we'll mm. touch on later. But overall, Will Smith as genie nailed it without trying to be Robin Williams, which, is, which was needed. Now, Mina Masood as Aladdin. I liked it. He had that charm and that kind of boyish, that boyish naivety that is in the original Aladdin. Yes. He's always got that bright and happy charm with that smile. Always got that smile. Yeah, I kind of wanted more. Yeah, I thought it was bland? A little bit bland. I kind of wanted more for him in key scenes, like the, do you trust me? Do you trust me? Like, I just wanted maybe just a little more pizzazz. I don't know whether I'm just nitpicking now, but... There was just there was something a little bit missing for me, especially with Will Smith, Will Smith's taking a little bit more of a back seat. Mm. He needed he, to own it. He more. needed to own it more. Yeah, I can see that. And who did who did own their role really well was Naomi Scott as Jasmine. Completely owned it as did Jasmine. Did a great job. Really Fantastic. powerful voice. Lots of versatility and range, showing a lot of expressions and emotions. A lot of emotions. Power when needed to be subtle when needed to be. Yes, the person who who was probably the worst casting. <laughs> For me, is uh, represented on the shirt if you can't see it, and that is Moan Kenzari as Jafar. Now, um, I had a lot of confidence in Jafar going in. Yeah. I liked the approach of him being a cunning manipulator from the sides and just kind of whispering in the Sultan's ear. Yeah, which there was a lot of that. There was. But when he had to rise to being that conniving, powerful, to when he finally really got the power. super strong power. No. He failed miserably. He kept yeah. the same soft spoken voice that was very I expected more from you. No, yes. I want drama. I want voice. I expected yeah. more. He did not have much versatility or range and it didn't have enough passion behind it. Especially when you could pair that to Jasmine. Yes. Well it, to anyone else. He was yeah. he was the weakest person in every scene, which is a shame because which he's meant to be the damn strongest. Yeah. Um and Alan Tudyk as Iago. I loved it. Second choice. Second choice. He does the bird, bird <laughs> noise. is great. Um, he needs to get some form of award for every kind of secondary role he has ever played because he is in everything and he does it so well. When we were talking in the car, you raised an interesting point about that would have helped Jafar. Yes. So in the original movie, 
Aladdin has genie, Jafar has Iago. In this, Iago is literally just a talking back bird. He doesn't have his own personality. He doesn't back doesn't have that back and forth with Jafar, which I think makes Jafar such a good character in the cartoon version mm. because there's someone to play off. Yes, and that's one of the things we don't see enough of with, with Jafar is yeah. we see him acting out and we get told that, you know, when he's talking to the Sultan, here's what needs to be done. You miss that scheming with Iago. Yes. That really miss, made Jafar sinister. You miss that in the depths of Jafar's little realm. Enclave. Enclave. <laughs> yes. Of the, if he shoves one more bloody cracker in my mouth, I'm going to kill him. Yeah. So, I was waiting for that. I wanted that so badly. There was that little bit. There were some parts where bit, where yeah. um, Jafar is talking and just going off about how the Sultan treats him. And Iago does do one of those, rah, rah, and he just repeats it. Yeah. But there wasn't that back and forth that would have really added depth. We didn't get that kind of Iago-Jafar relationship that made the first movie. There was when he's going back into the lamp. Yes. Come here, bird. Bird, you're coming and drag, with me. dragging <laughs> yeah. him in. Um, but yeah, overall... The cast did well. Yes. Um, some great standouts over some of the others. I'm very disappointed in Jafar. The Sultan mm. was kind of a very secondary role. But played well for a but father figure. But played well. He was, he was a father figure who wanted to protect his daughter. So that was done well. Um, so the acting did leave a bit to be desired. But overall, I was impressed by it. And I, I it could have been a lot worse. Yes. Uh, the set pieces... Are amazing. Fantastic. There was a behind the scenes footage of that that got released that showed them build Agrabah's Agrabah. marketplace. And that definitely made such a difference to this, especially with how much CGI was yes. ended up being used. Having those real sets and seeing things tangible and touchable was really nice. Yeah, it was beautiful. The costuming was absolutely stunning. Jasmine's Jasmine's gowns. Jasmine gowns are beautiful. The yeah. robes are beautiful on all the guys. The guard details. Yeah. Everything. The costuming in this deserves an award. Yeah, it was fantastic. Jafar's outfit looked great. His staff was hyper detailed. I cannot fault the costuming no. department at all. They did a great job. Just in the sense of the colours and the, the jewels and the dangles. Yeah, it was all vibrant and bright. Exactly what great. you want. Um, you didn't want something dark and drab and no. kind of hyper-realistic where it may not be, you know, where it would only be the kind of palace people, yes. palace residents who are but in the, these Yeah, colours. the details that were in even the poor people's clothing was amazing. Yeah, and just the way they built the markets up. I cannot fault that at all. Uh, the musical numbers... Very interesting what they kept in and what they took out. Yes, and it was very hit and miss on yes, some of the numbers as well. on some of the numbers as well. But the main ones... The whole perfect. new world. Whole new world. Great. Had me crying. Well done. That If, if you got that wrong, you would have a very, very, very angry Jules. Prince Ali. Prince Ali, it, it to me... Prince Ali had a lot more of a music, the, the Aladdin musical cool. vibe to it. Yes. A lot slower, more meticulously kind of very, it was more showy of Aladdin rather than Genie, Genie. taking over. Yes. But we did get Genie going up into the, into the stands, pretending he's a woman. Yes. Uh, he wasn't popping around too much. He was with the kids talking about how great Aladdin is. I liked it. The music was, was good. It was different. There was a new song for Jasmine. Yes. The issue with the music overall was the scene and the kind of choreography and sequences that accompanied it. And that and was the biggest, one of the biggest issues with the whole movie was the actual direction of it. And this is where I think it comes down to the directive role. I didn't realise this was directed by Guy Ritchie. Hmm. If you're going to do musical numbers, get a musical director. Yes. There was... Get two directors, one musical base, because that's where this movie had a couple of big flaws. Big flaws. In the very opening, you've got um, Aladdin going through the streets of Agrabah after yeah. he's stolen, stolen things. There is a sequence in there where they're talking and running and you've got the guards singing. Mm. And then suddenly there's this weird fast forward how it to try and like keep yeah. up with the pace of the music. It was so bizarre. How it reminded me was when you watch back old school James Bond movies with Sean Connery and they go into their fighting scenes and it's kind of like... Or the cars, the car chases. The car chases and it's sped up just to like one and a half. Yeah. That's what I felt like it was and it was blatantly obvious. Yeah, and there was just some really weird choices. We have a whole new song from Jasmine that... The great way, song. The great song, but the way it was done... You didn't realise what was going on until yes. after. Halfway, oh, half, I, I kind of picked it up about three quarters of the way through the song and then I'm like, yes. oh, she's having one of those moments. Yes, because I thought Jafar's powers were just wearing off. 
Yes. Because she he, she was outside the uh, throne room. Yeah. But no, it was actually a kind of dream sequence of her inner. Of inner her kind in a stance going, power. I can stand up in power and that. Yeah. And, which was good, but just executed so very poorly. Because then at the end, it goes back to where she started. Yes. But she wasn't at the start when it ended. There was just some very weird creative choices with the choreography and cinematography in terms of how the sequences were done. Mm. Um, the editing was. It did leave a bit to be desired, but overall it was good. CGI. CGI was a big issue. All right. Everyone knows my ranting on CGI. Let's get down. Iago and the... Raja. Raja. Perfect. Gives me so much hope for Lion King. Like, I have a lot more faith in Lion King. Oh, and Abu. Abu was was great as Mm. well. This gives me so much more hope for Lion King because their animation and CGIs were perfect. So much characterization, so much life in them. It was yes. great. Yeah, it was just it was just kind of the action sequences where they were very where heavily it... on CGI, particularly in the in the third act. Yes, that let it down. Where you've got, um, they did make a lot of changes to the act uh, yes. as well. But the Red Jafar came in, and once again, same issue with Genie. It just did not pay it off. It did not pay off. It, it looked, was very lackluster. To me, it looked kind of like a gigolo. <laughs> it looks like a very oil oiled oil, up gigolo. Oiled up gigolo going with yeah I, I, I didn't like that at all yeah, um enough. and and that's the other issue you have the story of aladdin if you're going to change it you need change to fix the pacing things. issues yeah. to me the way this was set out it was very slow at the start and then it hit a whole new world yeah and then, and then it just it was, went we got to finish this movie in 10 minutes yes that's kind of what it felt like the changing of the of the third act in particular and getting rid of some of the key moments and getting rid of the uh aladdin prince ali reprise yes let's not talk Disney. about that one Mm. Um, I just, I think the changing of the plot, like having, having, um, Iago turn into a giant bird didn't really do much for me. And it was just, it was just a way to get a big action sequence in. in. Genie's role in all that was kind of relegated to a background character where he was much more at the forefront of Jafar's kind of powers and you got to see. Because especially in the, sorry that we are comparing the two movies, but it's very hard to when for me it's one of my favorite like it's it's my favorite Disney movie. So I will sit there and I will nitpick. And in those scenes we you have Genie following um Jafar's orders and turning a boo into a clapping monkey doll. Um things into birds and elephants and you're not getting that in this scene. So yeah. it's kind of lost. Yeah. And I don't know. I just would have also liked a bit more of Jafar actually being a damn sorcerer. Yes! Like, he wasn't really... You, you got him using his his, his um, staff twice or thrice, and you didn't really... Hit, and this is where him with Iago and the banter in his in his chambers, yeah. he utilised more of his powers then as well. Mm. Um, yeah, it just... It, it would have been nice because he's like, I want to be the world's greatest sorcerer. Great, where did that come from? Yeah. It didn't come from anywhere. It didn't come from anywhere because... If you hadn't seen the original original movie, you wouldn't know. You have no idea. Yeah. But overall... Overall, I really... And I'm being critical here because it's it's nitpicking against a great movie that's that's still still stand out. Yeah. Um, Overall, I loved this movie. It was was fun. So that ticks all the boxes. As long as I have a fun time in a movie, I'm not going to be too harsh on it. So I'm going to give it a six and a half. I'm going to solidly give it a seven because I still did enjoy myself and they didn't ruin my favourite scene. Yeah. I'm going to give it a six and a half. Would I show this to Would I show this to my kids? Yeah, in the in the comparison of which one would you show to your kids or your nieces and nephews, mine will always be the original. Yeah, but this always. is this is still a very good movie. And anyway, let us know your thoughts on Aladdin in the comments below. Was there anything we missed or left out on? Do you disagree with anything? We love hearing from you all. I'm Trent. I'm Julia. Subscribe to the channel. Follow our handles at Fortress Nerds on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And as always, you're watching the, the Fortress. Fortress.